boom. I love that intro, that big rocky one that comes down in 3D and everything like that. It's funny, I don't actually really like that uh, cleave on. It's kind of obnoxious, I thought. I don't use it too often. No, I mean, you got to make it big. Well, just like the thing that we're going to do today. Look at this project right here. I'm going to click on the, I'm in a scene. I'm going to click on the animate and, hey, yo, look at that guy come down just pitchforking everybody. And you can see right where he's about to pitchfork too. Look at that. Just the way his eyes are looking down, all beady like that, just right in the, Right in the zone, you know. Whew, that would hurt. All right, so you, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. i got to take a few steps back here uh, to make it happen. So I'm going to uh, delete out what we got. We'll, we'll begin from where we should be beginning at. And, uh, okay, so we are back at the beginning of the project that we had last time. But uh, we don't actually need any code here. So if you want to uh, clean it out, uh, cleave on, just get rid of everything. Yeah, let me sit over here in front of the computer. I got control now, so I'm just going to get rid of everything to do with the ex-wives and the party boat incident that we talked about last time. I had dreams about that, actually. Uh, okay, so get rid of all that, and uh, we're going to be mostly working in the scene file. Uh, this is a sprite kit and a Swift project, Swift 2, but uh, uh, for right now, we don't have to do any coding. We're going to set up that uh, crazy... Uh, farmer dude, farmer zombie, it looks like my cousin-in-law. Uh, that guy, we're going to set him up over here in the scene. And, uh, well, first thing we got to do is import in some of the, uh, what you call, fancy term for stuff, assets, right? So we're going to drop it all in here. Let me go uh, peek into your uh, hard drive here, Justin. I'm going to snoop around to see what I can find. I'm gonna creep around a little bit. That's what I'm good at. All right, fold this down. And uh, this is some of the uh, free art you get uh, signing up at uh, cartoonsmart.com, right? Uh, okay, so we're going to grab this uh, farmer zombie. He's attacking, right? He's got his little pitch port, fork and everything. Boom, 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 boom. Do that thing, right? All right, so uh, can I just drop these into the scene? Uh, no, actually, Cleavon, put them in uh, the assets catalog over here. That's what that uh, XC asset stands for. And you can go ahead and do that if you uh, really want to. Yeah, I want to. Let me see what happens. Watch. Boom. They're all in there right now. Uh, yeah, it is. That's fine. And uh, you'll notice what happened is they went into the 1x uh, slots on all of these. Uh, they're, they're kind of big images, though. So, uh, I mean, depending on the kind of end size, you might want them to go into the 2x slot. There's, this gets into a lot of different things. But I, I will show you one kind of small trick. That that um, let's say let's just duplicate this. We'll make it uh, 14. All right, and then I'm going to put in here at 2x. Now, if you drop this one in like that, you'll watch what happens. It goes into the 2x slot. So it's a little shortcut, and um, you know that's something that you uh, you could you could add that at 2x uh, extension using a, a program like Name Changer. So you just kind of go through and you find the dot PNG part, and then you uh, append, append uh, fancy word for change uh, just that part of it to at 2x.png all right give me control again i'm gonna get rid of that thing i don't want i don't want to lose track of it and put an extra one in there all right so what um there's another way to do this right where we what do we do we take oh we take a any old folder that's got those files in there that's a lot of them for idling uh and we name it dot atlas so you just go in there you change the name in the finder dot atlas right looks like you're you must have already done this at some point and then uh you just well you, you just drag it on in here like that there it goes okay and i remember you told me we gotta do copy items if needed uh into my target does not matter at all finish and then they're in there too all right so everybody's kind of in there now we can we can work with them either way uh, but why, why would you do the dot atlas? Well, it's kind of it's actually, it, it makes a texture atlas at runtime. So um, I, I guess under the hood, there's kind of some improvements. Uh, I actually I like it because what you could do is you could just basically uh, take out or you could remove or change all of these um, files inside of here by just finding them in the finder so let's go and right click on just go over here to show and finder right 
So um, what Xcode has done is it's imported in just this entire folder. It doesn't matter really what's inside of here. Everything's going to get included at runtime. So let's say that you made a change to the animation uh, down the road. All you got to do then is just like copy all these back in and just replace out what was uh, already in here. And you could even add or um, use less frames than you, than you had before. And um, again, basically in the project settings for Xcode, and you could you could go and look at this you, over here to uh, does not matter at all your stupid file name that you came up with go to build phases and you can see copy bundle resources it just lists in here that idle.atlas so that's uh, a little trick uh, and uh, you want to take it back over for the yeah give it to me man all right game scene dot sks Nobody knows what that dot SKS stands for. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a color sprite, right? And I don't want it to be that uh, that red window looking thing. Uh, let's go make it attacking, but I, or should we make it idle? Probably just attacking. But you'll see that both those sets of frames are in there. So we're going to click on uh, attacking. He's kind of big. Let me, can I shrink him down a little bit? Just with those. There it is right there. Can squash them, make them a little taller. That's my dream. It's keep growing one day, but at uh, 56 years old, I don't think that's that dream is gone. Let's give him a name like uh, a good farmer zombie name. Uh, I do know a, 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 a farmer that did get turned into a zombie, and his name was Jed. So uh, that was a moonshine incident. So let's just go ahead and put in uh, Jed and uh, attacking and uh, let's see oh, oh, you know what for right now oh let's let's keep this animate thing open right here all right so if you don't already have that just click that little thing fold this guy down and uh, here's the tricky part you got to go find a particular sk action or just action for short that is going to be animate with textures so you can put in here just animate that'll isolate it down filter it out that's what Jed should have done. <laughs> Use the more of those filters. That's what I told him. I said, don't mix up that moonshine without the coffee filters. Uh, and we got animate with textures in here uh, now. And uh, if we if you play it, you're not going to see anything because we didn't put any textures in here. So what you got to do is go over here to uh, show media library. I got a media library in my house. A lot of VCR tapes. Some cassette. All I'll ever need. It's actually just two movies. Major League 1 and Major League 3. I did not care for Major League 2. Alright, so now that we did that, let's uh, we can resize it. We can change the duration. But there's an actual slicker way to, do, to change the duration. Watch this. Pull it out over here and then hit the animate button. Kind of slow. You're not going to get old cleave on when moving that fast. But watch this. If you go slide it back down in here. Now watch. Whoa, look at that. He could have got me with that one. I'm quicker than he is, though. He is a zombie, after all. A uh, smart one, though, to be using those tools. So what if I wanted to maybe make him not just do one attack, but, like, lots of them? Is that possible? Uh, yeah, actually, do this. Go uh, click the little switch thing over here, right? See that little thing? And then a looping pops up. And uh, then you just click the little infinity sign right there. That's a fit in infinity. I thought that was just a sideways eight, like somebody messed up, fell over. And then uh, click, uh, don't hit the X, just click out of there like that. And then you can see now, oh yeah, look at that. Over and over again. Man, he is relentless. Oh, all right. I wouldn't want to mess with him now. What happens if I slide these in just a little bit? If I gotta stop it first, right? Okay, and then that's gonna change the looping too, huh? Look at that! Ooh, 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 ooh. Way faster now! All right, yeah, that is a formidable enemy. Okay, so what if I want them to uh, maybe slide at you first? Could I do that? Uh, yeah, actually, you can go over here to uh, your. Uh, where all your actions and everything's at the object library. I, even I forget the name of these things at times. And then uh, just look for move. You can type in move at the bottom. And uh, there you go. So you've got a move action. And uh, just like what we did before, we just drag it on in here. And uh, I think uh, some of these animations look a little bit better if you just ease out a bit. Okay, so what's that mean exactly? Ease out. 
it means that uh, it's going to slow down toward the end and, and it'll be a little bit faster in the beginning. So watch, if I put in here, let's say 600 for the offset, that means that wherever he started at, he's going to go 600 from there. So I'm not putting in here like an exact position to go to. I'm setting up basically a relative point. So you'll see that, uh, watch, but yeah, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? It, you, <laughs> I was going to say pretty cool, but uh, all right, you got it for me. Uh, let me take it over from here. So uh, what we're going to do now is, uh, I, I think I got it. So if I move him back this way, or like let's say up here, then he's going to, he's starting from there, but he's still going that 600. So there he goes. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Look at that. Just right at you now. And I like that easing in there too. It does look good. If you're uh, not used to animating things, that's much, much smoother, you know, kind of like uh, just when you roll up at a place in your pickup truck and you, and you like speed in real fast, like up to the drive through real fast, and then you ease that on in. So you're kind of like looking at the menu a little bit and then slowing down, you know. Got to be careful that there's nobody already in line getting their order taken. I've made that mistake. Okay, so, uh, yeah, all right, I wanted to put a little gravity on this guy because uh, gravity affects all of us, even if you're just sitting here recording a tutorial or something like that gravity is in effect on me right now uh, so all things actually so let's go over here to uh, bounding circle click on that and uh, once we've done this you'll notice that if I hit the animate button watch him so long sucker <laughs> not gonna pitchfork me and the took us today uh, so the two things to note here are gonna be dynamic Right, that means that the physics are affecting him, uh, and then affected by gravity. So you could actually toggle this off, and he's not going to fall down, right? But if something else bumped into him, he would move that way, kind of like an asteroid or uh, something floating on water, like uh, like a rent check that actually accidentally blew away for out of your pocket while you're fishing, you know. So. Uh, and that's why I can't pay this month if my landlord's listening. Uh, so uh, Fishy's got it. So now uh, what I'm going to have to do is uh, uh, I want affected by gravity back on, but I want to put some sort of ground plane over here, right? So I'm going to go grab a uh, color sprite, uh, put that over here, and uh, that looks a bit like a scary ground. I don't like red that much. Let's make it nice and... Nice and like a uh, farm moonlit type of ground color. There we go. That looks much better. Uh, let's just call it um, plain, plain like grass plain. And now uh, we're going to come down over here. We want this to have a physics body too. Because if I had animate right now, watch that. Nope, he's out of there. So we're going to go and uh, set this to uh, bounding rectangle and put on uh, dynamic. And then affected by gravity's off as well. And uh, here we go. We ready to test it out. Boink, look at that. He just fell right on there and he's ready to fight. Man. Sometimes you gotta be ready. Sometimes you gotta do like a roll stance, like roll out or something or other, and then be ready to fight. And that's kind of what he's up to right there. Like if you gotta. Okay, so uh, friction restitution. You could try changing these things. So on my plane, let's make this one restitution one, which is a fancy term for the uh, bounciness of it. Boink! Look at that, and he's still bouncing on it. How is that even possible? Well, it is a computer. It's a simulation is what it is. So that would not actually happen in, in real life, life unless, unless what? You were on a trampoline. Okay, so uh, let's finish it off kind of where we started, where he's just uh, hiya out there. And you can see that you did get a lot done. We did, yeah. You actually did a pretty good job with that lesson. You kind of stayed on point for the most part. And... Uh, Got us at least sort of set up for a game, you know. Uh, we didn't do any coding, of course, but you s showed people sort of the, what, the, the the power of the scene editor in Xcode. And uh, it is a, a much better than it was a couple, even just a couple years ago or, or even a year ago. And uh, all of our CartoonSmart.com's uh, premium, fancy word for paid, everybody knows that, 
That's right. Uh, pay, paid lessons. Uh, at least the, the recent ones all use the uh, the scene editor set to set up stuff, and uh, it certainly makes it a lot uh, uh, f- faster to develop games. And it makes it to, to me, it's a, a much more exciting time to be a game developer to actually kind of lay these things out and uh, you know at least get a, something of a hint of the end result just by hitting buttons like uh, animate in there. And even just seeing the animation frames is really cool too. So um, I guess uh, I got to thank you yet again for helping me out with these. You seem to not want to leave my home. Well, you know, it's uh, I'm like a like a vampire. You know, once you let me in, you you can't get me out. <laughs> you know, that's not actually you got to invite vampires in, but then they're free to leave. They can go anytime <laughs> after that. Well, I meant uh, like a like an Orlando vampire, you know. So it's like they come in and it's nice and cool. Not, it, it, hopefully it's nice and cool. And if it is, you're never gonna get them out because who wants to get out of the air conditioning, especially in the summertime at night? So that so you are so weird. Okay, all right. Well, so if you want more uh, videos, uh, go to uh, cartoonsmart.com. And, of course, if you want to hear from Cleavon for some crazy reason, uh, listen to this uh, podcast a few more times. Stay subscribed, I guess, right? That's what the kids say. I don't know. Why are you looking at me?